everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm Geo. If you do know me, then congratulations, you've stumbled onto the channel where I don't talk about video game things. As many of you know, I have been really into skating for about 10 years now, maybe just over 10 years, and Oh, in recent months, I have invested some money in getting back into that hobby as it's been kind of neglected in my early adulthood. However, over the last couple of months, one thing I've also been doing is watching quite a lot of hockey. I've had a pretty shit time, especially in November and December, and I found that it was just a really good distraction from a lot of things that were going on. But because this also coincided with when I was getting back into skating, a lot of people who are friends of mine were saying, hey, Gio, have you thought of trying out hockey? And I was like, no, I haven't. <laughs> I've never really wanted to play it. I've never been a team sport player. The only sports I've ever done seriously are karate and trampoline gymnastics. And it's just never been something that's on my radar or that I'd ever thought about. However, the UK is in their third lockdown and it's probably gonna be going on for quite a while. And one thing that I thought was, it could be kind of fun just to try and pick up some of the skills and see if it's something that I would like to try once lockdown is over. So I had a look into things and I bought some basic hockey gear so that I, on my own, outside in the street, <laughs> can try and learn some of the basics. And I wanted to share them here because it's not really something I'm talking about on social media. So I figured that the basic things to get would be a stick, something to stick handle with, and gloves. So here is what I got. For a stick, I originally wanted to get a composite stick for kind of obvious reasons. However, the more I thought about it, I figured I'm gonna be playing this out on the street, the stick's gonna get beaten up quite easily, and if I decide that I'm not interested enough that I would ever want to continue this, a composite stick can be quite expensive an investment to just throw away. So I figured actually to be playing out on the road, a wooden stick would probably be a lot better. The other thing with that is I'm quite tall, so I need the height of a senior stick. However, I'm very light and I need the flex of an intermediate stick. And I didn't wanna have to buy an intermediate stick with an extender and spend the extra money when I could literally just buy a senior wooden stick and not worry about the flex at all because it, like who gives a shit when you're in the street. So the stick that I ended up getting was this. I got the CCM Ultimate. This cost me about £36 I think, which compared to the other wooden sticks that were available was actually expensive. <laughs> but this one seemed cool. I wanted the- oh shit, I've got to remember which one is the Bauer and which one is the CCM. The P92 or P29 blade. <laughs> They're the same blade, but I don't remember which one is for which brand. Um, I went with that blade, and I also went with a left-handed stick, which was something that I took some time to actually think about. I'm very right-handed dominant, um, and originally I wanted to get a right-handed stick because I figured that, you know, I would hold a baseball right-handed, I would hold a golf club right-handed, and a lot of the power can come through my right hand. However, with things like stick handling, a lot of the fine motor skills have to come from the dominant hand, and I figured that it would probably be more beneficial to have my right hand at the top of the stick. So I went with a left-handed stick. For gloves, I went with the Warrior Covert QRE 40 gloves which look like this. I got these ones specifically, these are 13 inch gloves. I got these specifically because I do have quite small hands and small wrists. And even though the length of my hand fits a 13 inch glove, I figured getting the more tapered fit uh, would probably suit me a lot better. And actually once I've tried them on, I think these probably fit me quite similarly to how the regular non-tapered gloves would fit uh, just a normal man, I guess. Don't actually remember how much these cost me. I think maybe they cost me around 70 pounds. These were definitely the most expensive part of this purchase. As for the other smaller things, so uh, firstly I got some black hockey tape, just black hockey tape. I taped the end like this, so it's sort of got these wiggles in, and then I just taped the blade. And for stick handling, I decided to get a green biscuit and also a ball. I was recommended by a couple of people to learn to stick handle with a ball, um, but I did want to get a puck as well. And I figured, you know, this is the puck that, well, the off ice puck that everybody goes for. Might as well get it. It costs like 15 quid. It really wasn't a huge add on to my purchase. I was kind of nervous about it because my worst fear is people to think I'm bandwagoning or something like that. Or actually my worst fear is people thinking that the only reason I'm into skating is because I wanted to get into hockey. And that's not true at all. It's literally a coincidence that the two things have coincided. But either way, I thought it would be kind of fun to share this stuff. Maybe I'll share how crap I am at it when I finally get to go outside and have a go and 
<laughs> I don't think it's going to be something I'm very good at, but I'm looking forward to just having something to work on and learn that doesn't involve me sitting in front of a computer. My whole life is in front of a computer, my job is in front of a computer. So it will be really nice to just have that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the things I bought or just anything along this topic. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.